This dirt head shed, it's time to take a look at one of the coolest SUVs of all time, Toyota FJ60. So what's like a total bucket list truck that you ever wanted? For me, it was always Toyota Land Cruisers and one that I've never owned is a Toyota FJ60. That's sort of this middle ground, really nice SUV. It was be before they were super luxury vehicles, but after they were like old carbureted things. And this one is awesome. This is my buddy Cameron's FJ60 and you get to meet Cameron right now. Hand it over, Cameron. Oh geez, I don't like this. Oh I boy. I wanna be the camera guy. Okay, now the tail has turned. I am cameraman and Cameron man is yeah. the host. Yeah. Well yeah, this is my 1987 uh, Toyota FJ60 Land Cruiser. Um, pretty cool from the standpoint. I bought this from a friend of mine. It was like four years of bugging this dude. Uh, to buy this thing and now I get to park it in my garage. So always kind of been a fan of like old body, you know, Toyotas and whatnot. I always wanted either a 60 or a 62 and this one kind of fell on my lap. This thing's rad. I have had a, an, I have had an FJ55 that was kind of a crummy old turd. And then I had an FJ80 that I really loved. And what I always wanted was the thing that was in between the two. And this is it. Some of the coolest things I think about this middle series Land Cruiser is the boxy look of it, but it's kind of, it's still classic looking and boxy, but these things came factory with fuel injection. They came with a straight six engine. They ran great. You could get them with a five speed transmission. It was sort of like that, like coming out of being, I don't know, old school infancy Toyota stuff to be in what they are today. I mean, you got classic body lines going on here, but you also have freaking headlight squirters. It's got headlight squirters. Like, tell me this thing's not like about ready to be a Mercedes without having headlight squirters. Um, they're super cool. It's still on leaf springs. It's still solid axle front and rear. It's like a tank, but it's like, almost like a luxurious tank. They're really cool. If you look inside, it's got like a cool utilitarian dash, but then you could get these things with power windows and power mirrors, all that sort of stuff. They're just one of the coolest rigs out there. It's Interior. already got a handful of mods. It's got some sort of wacky rear bumper slash tire carrier. Yep, so it's got kind of a home jobby rear, rear bumper and tire carrier setup that was even before my buddy I brought it, bought it from, he had it on here. Um, and so, yeah, that'll probably get changed up in the future. I don't know how I feel about these trucker guys. That's uh, a like, burrito storage. Yeah, burrito storage holders. Um, no, this thing is rad. It's got the right color. It's got the cool chrome stocky wheels. Big all-terrains on it. This thing's on like 33s or 35s already, right? Yep, some 35-inch Falcons. And then Cole cleaned up the, you know, factory 15s on it. So it's kind of got that in my opinion like kind of matchbox car kind of look to it it's like very proportionally correct besides the spare but it, we'll get to that it's so. so cool let me see the inside real quick yeah. gosh this thing's awesome yeah this is exactly what i wanted in my land cruiser was nice upholstery a headliner all these things that kind of make it that metal ground before they got to being super luxurious yeah let's go look under the hood and see where some of the problems are yeah so anytime you buy a project from somebody there's always something you gotta mess with and on this one not that it's a bad thing but it's got a small block chevy under the hood yeah i'll drive i'll drive for a sec hey i'm back i am not very good on the other side of that camera not very good on this side either but so this thing has a small block Chevy in it, which is rad. It's like a 350 Chevy. And this was super common swap back in the day. You used to actually be able to get like a bell housing adapter and put this right in front of your Toyota transmission transfer case. This one actually has a turbo 350 in it though and a 203 transfer case. So there's a little bit of room for improvement on that. And when Cameron showed up, it wouldn't start. He got here and then we had to come in the backyard here and the thing wouldn't start. So 
It's got a few issues with the carburetor that we're going to deal with. It's got a few issues with timing. Um, other than that, it's pretty solid. Like, this thing's killer. It's got good parts. It's got good, um, like a good radiator in it and stuff. And Cameron really wants this thing so that he can, like, drive it down the coast of California and go surfing along the way. And if that's going to happen, then it needs a few more upgrades because if it can't, like, get to my backyard here in Washington, it's probably not going to be very reliable going down to Baja, California. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to help me get this thing rocking and rolling because I'm used to being a camera guy, yeah. not a mechanic. <laughs> You're good at everything, though. No, stop it. Cameron is, like, super extreme friend. He does, like, mountain biking and rides dirt bikes and snowmobiles. And he's kind of new on the hardcore off-roading thing, but I think we got this handled. Like, yeah. this isn't going to be the rock crawling rig, like... I don't know, it's, this is going to be the classic cruiser camping rig, and we just need to make this thing reliable enough to go drive wherever it needs to go, and I think, what do you have planned for it? Yeah, so, like, first thing, like, it just definitely has some odds and ends and whatnot that needs, you know, the exhaust has got leaks, it rattles, you know, the rear bumper swing out's kind of broken on it, um... Yeah, and kind of like back to what Dave was saying, this isn't going to be like a hardcore rock crawler. It's going to crush dirt roads, and if there's a couple, you know, gatekeeper obstacles, um, so you know, cool. to get into a camp spot, sweet. But for the most part, I just want to have a cool rig. I can go camping with my wife and my doggos, um, and I guess do it in good style, too. So, um, I don't know, Dave, what are we doing first? I think we're doing something up here. I'm back. Yep, we are going to, we're going to swap out the front bumper on this thing. We're going to put some better headlights in it. We're going to put some off-road lights on it and probably put a winch because if you watch this episode coming up, we tried to go just like light duty snow wheeling and we ended up breaking out all the winches. So yep. if we're going to go wheeling in the snow in the Pacific Northwest, you got to have that up on front so yep this thing is due for a bunch of cool upgrades it's gonna be stage one or stage one will be a bumper winch lights cooling stuff um, and then we're gonna get into making this thing more reliable probably a bunch of work under the hood and I guess if Cameron here stays interested in it long enough <laughs> oh we'll, she's not going anywhere all right we'll <laughs> see how far we can take this thing yeah. 